Hey everyone, we have a new video today all about prefixes. So in our last video, we looked at some of these very common prefixes such as pre, pro and anti. And remember that a prefix is a word or a letter at the beginning of another word that changes its meaning. So pre would add the meaning before or previous. Pro means to advance, such as progress, you progress or to support. So you can say I'm pro something, it means you are supporting that thing. And lastly, we have anti, which is very simple. It just means against or opposite. And this can be an example of antibiotics, antivirals, antibacterial, just the medicines we take when we have an infection to make us feel better. So we're gonna look at some more common prefixes today. And the ones I have for you today are post. So this is just the opposite of pre. Post means after or later on. So you can think of post-war, it's just after a war, postpone, postnatal, and postgraduate. So postpone means to delay something or to do it at a later time. For example, a lot of things right now are postponed, but they may happen in the future. Postnatal means after you have a baby or a child. And finally, postgraduate is after you complete a university degree, you become a postgraduate or you can do more postgraduate degrees such as a master's or a PhD. So next we have extra and this means more than or outside of something. So you've probably heard of extraordinary, then we have extravagant, extraterrestrial, and extracellular. So if you study biology, you probably have heard of extracellular. The use of extra is very common in biology and it means something outside of something. So let's look at extraordinary. This is something that's very unusual or amazing. It's an extraordinary event or a person. Next we have extravagant. So this can be used in two different ways. You can say somebody is very extravagant it means they're always spending so much money on fancy things oftentimes they are things that you don't need so uh, spending money on lots of watches or lots of pairs of shoes when you only really need one or two and also you can describe an object as extravagant if it is really really fancy and very expensive so you could say it's an extravagant car it means it's a very expensive and fancy car Next we have extraterrestrial, uh, this is a big word, it means outside of Earth. Uh, normally we would use this to mean aliens or something like that, but it can mean anything outside of our planet. And lastly, like I said, extracellular is very common in biology, it means outside of the cell. And you will hear lots of similar words to this in biology. And now we'll move on to our final prefix, which is trans, and this means changing or across something and I'll give you some examples now we have transport so next we have transfer transform and translate so I think you will be familiar with a lot of these words transport means very simply to move something like you get in the car it transports you to somewhere new so you are being moved across to somewhere new transfer has the same meaning however it is very slightly different um, normally transport is physical stuff like you get in a car or you transport goods transfer a lot of the times we will use this to describe something over the internet or electronically transferring something like you send your money your friend cash over WeChat that would be transfer next transform is to make a big change a drastic change from one thing into another so you could say you transformed your life, means you made a big change in your life. And lastly, translate is to change one language into another. An easy way to remember transform is just to think of transformers. They always change from cars into big robots, and that's just what transform means. So guys, that is our video for today. Thank you for watching. Tune in to our next video tomorrow, and goodbye.